I am a single mom. I'm just a girl who loves makeup and loves to work out. Your past relationships have nothing to do with your future relationships. So don't think that just because your boyfriend or you know your ex-boyfriend treated you like shit, that every guy is gonna treat you like shit. Because I promise you, even though I haven't found a person like that yet, I know that he's out there somewhere. You never know what somebody is going through. So I've just been feeling like I'm not good enough. I don't feel like I have like one person I can like tell how I really feel. <laughs> when you're going through so many things and you're dealing with so much and you're alone and you don't have anyone there for you. I feel all the time like, like I'm not enough. I often think to myself why I'm not good enough, why I don't have a boyfriend. I realized something about myself and it was that I was so focused on what I didn't have and what wasn't happening and what could have been or what should have been that I wasn't focusing on myself and what I do have and what I'm going to have. It's hard to be in your 20s. Right now, I'm 23 years old. I feel like I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do in my life, what path I'm supposed to take, and it's hard. Right now in my life, I really want to take advantage of the time that I have with Elijah. When I have Elijah on my days, it's just me and him. Eventually my life is gonna change because I do want to have a family. I do want to start over and have more kids. Like, I want that. And so it's not always going to be just me and Elijah. I just want us to find I know. mans already so that we can start like getting married and sh Where's our man? <sighs> For real though. Wait, but you want like a pretty wedding, like light colors. Yeah. See, I already know. Yeah. I'm gonna be your wedding planner. So this is something that I've always struggled with always like my whole entire life my mom has always told me stop worrying about things that you can't control stop worrying about things that haven't happened yet just let go enjoy the present moment of your life and just be thankful for what you have right now i think that it's important to have faith that life will get better that things will get better don't be afraid to spend time alone now this is something that i have had to do a lot the last six months and i feel like that's part of the reason why i been feeling the way that I feel because I'm lonely a lot. I feel like I've had to make the most of it and embrace being alone because it's not bad to be by yourself and I feel like a lot of people think that it is but sometimes you have to be alone to really get to know yourself. Like I know that my next relationship, I don't know who it'll be with. I don't I don't know if I've met my future boyfriend or husband, but what I do know is that he's going to be somebody who believes in me and somebody who encourages me. It was just a lot of bullshit. I feel like I put myself through that I didn't necessarily need to go through, but now I feel like I needed to go through that to be how I am now. Also, I had never been cheated on, so that feeling of being cheated on, I think, made me a lot stronger because that feeling is so hurtful. <laughs> like, being cheated on is just like the worst feeling ever like you just feel so betrayed and it's just not a good feeling you are a bad bitch and do not let a man make you feel anything less than dating in this generation has been a real mm. Mm -mm. if a guy likes you you'll know and I know this is a fact because a guy hasn't liked me. <laughs> so I haven't known. <laughs> but when a guy likes you, you'll know. Like, you will not be confused. If a guy wants you, he will grab you. I'm going to enjoy my time being single and alone until a guy shows me that he is worth my energy and my time because you know what my time is fucking precious i know my life is a little different i'm a single mom so for a long time i would feel like who would want me i have a kid you guys know elijah you guys know he is like the sweetest soul such a good kid so whoever i end up with is going to be so 
lucky to have him in his life because Elijah is, like I said, just the sweetest kid ever and I know that he will be the best big brother. Just because I have a kid, it's not a negative. Unless, I mean, maybe it is to someone, but then that wouldn't be my person. I met a guy, well, I didn't just meet him. Like I've known him since I was in kindergarten. He added me on Instagram. I didn't think anything of it. We started DMing and then we went on a date. He took me to a Padre game. It was so, it was like the most random thing ever and I was not expecting to um, like him the way I do. I really like him a lot. Mm, bitch. You think I'm gonna have a boyfriend? Bitch, I don't know. Like, me? A boyfriend? Like, I'm always the single one of my friends, and I just, like, cannot make it past this, the talking stage. It's never, like, mutual, and it is, and I'm just, like... And you know what's even more crazy, you guys? I also wrote a list of 20 things that I want in a partner, boyfriend, man husband whatever you want to say and I wrote down these 20 things they're all like very obtainable one person could have all these qualities one of the things was like he has to be passionate about something you know I don't really care what it is like he has to have some kind of passion he has to um, treat me with respect he has to treat others with respect like things like that and then like a week later I literally meet him and it's just so crazy I don't know you guys it's just the universe is just works in mysterious ways met a guy so I've been dating this guy and it's going really well like it's so different so different I can't even explain it he, like does things for me like he's so sweet and thoughtful and like <sighs> it's just crazy like I I will share more I'm going on a date right now with my man even though he's not my man yet technically because he hasn't asked me but it's fine Everything is fine. It's been a crazy month and a half for me. Um, I have a boyfriend. What? Which feels so weird to say. The timing of it in both of our lives just ended up working out really well. And he is literally everything that I've ever wanted in a guy. And we have so much fun together. He's literally like my best friend. And I just could not be any more happy. I finally feel like I found my person and I've never felt this before. I've never felt someone so genuine with me. I am really excited for this next chapter of my life and I just have so much good things coming. If it wasn't for you, I don't think that your dad would love me as much as he does. When you took my hands and let's go. Oh, would, but it does. Nothing does call. <laughs> don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Just gonna take you guys along the day. With me and my boyfriend. I will let my guard down. I wanna love out loud. Talk a little deeper. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Are you shy? Don't be shy. You can't. You're too cute to be shy. If you don't like friends, Wendy, we all shy. Oh my God. Carlos. Tim. Oh. Right. I think we get the point. It looks like it, it looks like you're holding a thing of condoms. Dude, what? Right here. here we know it's an extra large. It doesn't need this many notifications. <laughs> notification. <laughs> this lady came up to us and was talking to us and she was like, what did she say to you? But uh, my wife is beautiful. Well, she is. That's the second the second older white lady who called me his wife. Like they know the vibes. 
I'm sorry. Do you see a ring on my finger? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> It's coming. It's, it should be coming in the mail any day now, so. <laughs> in the mail. Oh, babe. Oh, my God. How long did it take to do all this? I love you so much. I love you, too. Happy birthday. I'm sorry. Best birthday ever. Well, it's actually a chance for me. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that we can like have so much fun together. So glad I found you, really. Yeah, we found each other when we were supposed to. Who knows if you would have liked me? Fucking, who knows? Maybe even five months ago. Who knows? I would, you know, things would have worked out when we were supposed to. Actually, met in elementary school. We were in the same class in second and third grade. Yeah. And I love that you came here with me. He was in third grade, I was in second grade, and we were in like a blended class, which is like super random. <laughs> I, I remember her at Longfellow. Mm -hmm. We actually mm -hmm. had a class class together. Mm -hmm. It was a weird like mixed second and third grade class. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we met at Longfellow over 20 years ago. So, so it was meant to be, time, it was meant to be. Time. Like, next to each other in the yearbook too, like my picture and her picture right next to each other. Like she just is so special to me because she makes me feel special. The way she always takes care of me, always makes sure I'm fed. Like even just the, like the littlest things I didn't think anyone like is anyone's responsibility, she does for me. Mm -hmm. And like I think she's just such a unique person. I've never met anyone like her. Mm -hmm. And it's like funny because I've known her for so long and then you go a 20 year break without talking to her at all and then seeing her again and She's just one of the most genuine people I've ever met. He just like really accepts me and he's like shown me that it's okay to like be myself and in 10 years. Married with four kids. <laughs> right, well in 10 years we're gonna be 36, 37, so what? definitely see us being married. I've always been like okay with not being married until I met him and I was like, oh, maybe I do wanna get married. Like maybe he's that guy for you. Yeah. Our relationship just felt so natural from like the beginning and it doesn't feel like we've only been together for like five months. It feels like we've been together for ever. Granted, we have known each other for so long and like our families get along, like his family loves me, my family loves him, like it just works. And also seeing the way that Elijah is with him, like makes my heart so happy because I can't imagine being with somebody and Elijah not loving them as much as I love them. Mm -hmm. And so like that definitely reassures me too. But yeah, I definitely see us having like two to three kids. I plan on getting married to her way well before that. So hopefully by then we're celebrating at least our five year anniversary at some point. We've talked about it. If we have a boy and a girl with our next two kids, I'm cool with that, especially because we already will have Elijah there too. I'll be cool with that. But I'm also open to having three kids. Welcome to my kitchen. Mm -hmm. This is so exciting. Horace Kitchen? I'm so excited that my kettle's in here. Look at how high these ceilings are. This is the master room. Honestly, like, we seriously manifested this house and it's so true. Like when you say speak things into existence, we really spoke this shit into existence and it Everything actually ended up aligning like perfectly. so perfectly. I literally wrote it down here. On August 2nd, 2021, I wrote down what qualities my man has and- August 6th, I we go on our first date. Yeah! You already knew him, but that's a whole, that's a different story for another time. Even if I don't express everything in words, I will do my best to show you how much I, I will appreciate you and like just actions. Your 10 year old self react to who you are today? He'd be like, you're dating Harmony? <laughs> High five. <laughs> I think my 10 year old self would honestly be like super proud of me and be like, and so bad for you. Wish us luck. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Baby. I thought it was better win tonight. I was gonna be in a bad mood. <sighs>
tenderly, a tiny part of you, uh, you'll feel a love you can't explain. That strength is every day. You're going to be a daddy and you'll be... What? Are you really? I'm literally in so much pain. Kevin's taking me to the ER right now because I can't handle this pain anymore. I'm trying to stay positive, but I've had two pregnancies and I've never felt like this before, so. I'm so happy to have him by my side. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm scared. I don't wanna cry again, but it hurts when I cry. <laughs> Gotta get surgery. Yeah, they're all Alright, so you'll see when you come back. Hey, dude. There's a camera there. Are you pregnant? Are you for real? Hey, I'm sorry I didn't cry this time like last time, but okay. I'm just as excited though. To be married? Would you like to be married, yeah. I would love to be married. I can't wait to be married. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yes. Yes? To you. Mm, yeah. Good morning guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is our maternity shoe. So I thought I would bring you guys along with us for that. This morning, me and Calvin and Elijah went to go get their haircuts. Then we went to Target to go find Elijah a shirt and then I came back and made breakfast and now I'm getting ready. Look at how cute my little Christmas mug is. It's a little penguin, it's so cute. Our photo shoe is in two hours and I don't even know what I'm wearing so that's great I'm just praying that what I ordered fits me so yeah I'm gonna just do my hair real quick and then we're gonna try on my outfit and hopefully fingers crossed it fits Hair's done, so now we just need to let it air dry. I might diffuse it a little bit depending on where we're at with time and how fast it air dries. I ordered some stuff from Shein, so I'm going to open it and find the maternity outfits that I ordered for this shoot specifically. And we're just gonna pray that it fits me or that it looks good. Oh my gosh, don't mind the laundry on our bed.
this is the first look. I'm going with this little white sheer dress moment. And then for the second look, I'm going to do a black maxi dress. Let me see your fit. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, you look so handsome. Are you excited to be a big brother? Mm-hmm. What, are you going to change his diapers? No? Nope. Why? Not not the number two ones. Just the PP ones? Yeah, because when we babysit, Cairo and Rogers. Yeah, that's stinky. <laughs> Every time we do something, maternity shoot, ultrasound, 3D, baby shower, it's like one step closer to the baby actually being here. Right, the most beautiful. <laughs> I was gonna say, let me fix her titty real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig into your shirt to make this. Oh, sorry. I do. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> like, I know she's going to say yes, but I've blown layups before in open gym, so. Uh, I think I'm going to go on my right knee. Is that your strong knee? Yeah. Do you think she has any idea? I don't think so. I don't even think she noticed, like, this big square in my fucking pocket at all. I think that she, she almost walked right by the whole setup. She did. Yeah, well, yeah. That's why I switched where I was standing. I so saw that, it. That was like, smooth. Um, so yeah. she would just change the focus to beautiful me. You yeah. know what I mean? Wish me luck, guys. Good luck. There's three. You're welcome. And then the photographer is going to get the photos. You're going to get the camera. Right. Go hide behind the tree, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make sure. Okay, yeah, like that. Hi, Harmony. Okay, so you have no idea that this is going on, but um, Calvin's going to be proposing to you at your maternity shoot. <laughs> and that's obviously on December 9th. So I'm trying to get my job to switch my flight 
apparently it's this big old process and I don't know. So fingers crossed that they could switch it. Um, but anyways, I wanted to document this if I, if I am able to be there or not, um, just so you have, have something cause this is so exciting. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so Calvin reached out to me a couple weeks ago and told me that he's ready to do it, wants to do it at your maternity shoot, which I think will be perfect, and guess what? He just picked up the ring. It's November 28th at 3.30 p.m., um, so he just picked up the ring. And bitch, you're gonna be getting married soon, okay? I'll keep you posted with every all the updates. Hi, Harry. Providing you with an update as we are now eight days away from your proposal. And good news, my job was able to change the flight. So I'm gonna be there. It's gonna be a surprise, obviously. And I'm so excited. I can't wait for this day. It's crazy. Like, who would have thought that this would be happening to us? Well, not us, <laughs> you. But, you know, these are things that you wish for yourself and for your friends at a very young age. And it's, like, here. So that's crazy. Um, but I love you and I'm so excited. Okay, Hardy. So this is the first time I'm going to see you since we have set plans for your proposal, which is in literally, uh, today's Monday. It's on Saturday. I don't know why I can't do the math, but, um, so this is the first time I'm going to see you in person at your practice and it's just so great. I can't fucking wait. Um, everything is ready and prepped and yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Hi, Harm. Okay. One day until you are an engaged woman. What the actual fuck? Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. I've had dreams about this <laughs> this week because I want everything to be perfect for you and Calvin. So... I just messaged your photographer to see like if there's an area where I can go to the side for like your cute little proposal setup without you seeing it when you're taking your maternity shoot because obviously he wants it to be a surprise and we don't want you to be able to see the shit, you know? <sighs> so that's what my nightmares have been this week because I'm stressed because I want it to be perfect for you guys. So, anyways, <laughs> it's gonna get, it's gonna be great. Um, I hope, fingers crossed, w when you're watching this, that you're like, wow, it, everything turned out so well, and that's what I'm putting into the universe. And I'm a fucking event planner, okay? Like, I can do this. I believe in this. Just adds a little extra stress when it's something for your best friend, you know? <laughs> But all is going to go great. And I'm so excited. And you're going to be fucking Mrs. Gorson, bitch. What the fuck? <sighs> Who would have thunk? Man. Time has flown by. And this is just crazy. And I just, I'm just so happy for you guys. And um, I love you very much. And bitch, this finger of yours is about to have a ring. Okay, girl. Hi, Harmony Lynn Jones. Oh, I'm not going to be able to call you that anymore. Um, well, I just got off the phone with you. <laughs> and you're telling me about your nails and what you're going to wear tomorrow and blah, blah, blah. And you just have no idea. You just have no idea that tomorrow you're literally getting engaged. What? <laughs> I'm so excited. I lied to you. Sorry for lying. Um, that I'm going to the airport at 8. Which is not true. Um, Because now I'm going at like 9 p.m. Not 8 a.m. So, ah! I was trying to keep it cool, calm, and collected. Like, I didn't want you to know, obviously, what's, what's the fucking plan. All right, Harmony. The day is here. Okay, bitch. The day is fucking here. Um, okay, well, we're just here. 
getting set up. Um, so I can't wait to see you. Next time we see you, you're gonna be an engaged woman. Love you. That's crazy. That's wow, I had no idea. Yeah, she walked by the setup once. I am. Really? Her best friend was hiding in a bush. I know. Like, we definitely saw the setup. I definitely did. I literally did not. No. Nah. Uh, yeah, that's why we were saying, like, can she meet us in the front? Like, uh, yeah, we were like, uh oh. I was like, who cares? We'll just walk over there. <laughs> she was like, let's go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't. It got real when we pulled up. Like, oh, oh, this is so perfect. I did good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ah! Oh, babe. You mm -hmm. love it? Mm hmm. What a great day. Snack wraps are coming back to McDonald's. <laughs> We're engaged. What a big day. Oh my gosh. Were you surprised, babe? I was hella surprised. I did good. Yeah. That'd be great. Perfect. Perfect? Mm -hmm. Like, what? You guys, I will see you at dinner. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I'm gonna bring my light. So, I'll see you guys later. Do you have you?
Do you know how much I love you? You put my face in the like It's like in the like, 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 not have to give me a Excuse me, everyone. <laughs> so first off, I gotta say thank you to my baby because obviously if she didn't say yes, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Did she say yes? She no. There was words. It's on camera. She <laughs> said the words yes. Second of all, I appreciate all of you guys for showing up, showing your love. We really appreciate you. I know how much it meant for her. It was really hard to not spoil this surprise. So I really appreciate you guys for staying strong. I know she called a couple of you guys after the engagement. So I really appreciate you guys. Shout out to Lorena who helped me with the proposal. If it wasn't for you, I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been this good. It would have been done, but not this good. <laughs> So thank you. But for real, I love every single one of you. My homie Dupree coming all the way from SAC. Here you go. Yeah. 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 Who I've met through Harmony. I really appreciate you guys. You guys welcomed me since day one. Like I saw with Juan and Marco and Yoli. I met you guys on our first date. Here we are now. Like that's that's pretty crazy. I just I just love everyone. Thank you for showing love to us. It means the world to me. Because I know how much it means to her. So thank you guys. Oh, it is recording! Hey kid, I just want to say congrats to you and Cow Wow. Y'all did y'all did Thuzzle. Y'all did Thuzzle, yes! I just wanted to say I love you to the future baby that's coming through. Um, we don't know what your name is going to be yet. What's too much? Oh, so, you're on the side. Don't. Why, bitch? Squeeze in! Shut up, Capri. <laughs> I'm just ate you up for that one. Shut up, Capri. <laughs> oh my God, that's so crazy. Oh, I don't like Off the street. Yeah. Off the street. Wait, why don't you? Oh, you guys, my friend surprised me. Yay! That's so crazy. Well, uh, I'm about to hop. Thank you. I'm about to hop on my plane. Okay, have fun and I love you. Thank you for everything. Thanks. Love you too. Okay, Go. talk to you when you land. Harmony and Calvin. And put your Woo. location back on, bitch. Okay, well, I will. Okay. <laughs> love you, bye. Love you, bye. Oh, what'd you say, babe? Special occasion. Why? We just got engaged. I put a ring on it finally. <laughs> I did not wear this hat with this outfit today. Don't think that this was a gift right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open. I'm gonna crack my baby something special. What? Let me see. Wait. Well, an apple cider. It's <laughs> yeah. lost your camera. Right <laughs> but shout out to the people at Stuart Benjamin who made the ring. <laughs> they gave me this little bottle of little Chardonnay. <laughs> that we'll have. I'll wait and after. save this. Yes. I don't want to drink this by myself. But shout out to them for the ring. And obviously the nice little, little gift. So shout out to them. <laughs> show the ring, babe. Show the ring. Shut off. Let, pe let people know. Here, I got you. Show the ring, babe. Ooh. Ooh. What'd you think, babe? I love it. You made it good? Mm-hmm. All around? Mm-hmm. How was the... I love it. It's so pretty. How was the proposal? Did it catch you off guard? Mm-hmm. I had like a little... Feel like, I, I think I had... Not so much like a feeling. Mm -hmm. More of like I hoped. I was like, oh, I hope he does it like on the engagement shoot. Just because it was like... We we're already getting pictures taken. The maternity shoot, yeah. What did I say? Engagement shoot. Oh yeah, maternity shoot. Turned into a little bit of engagement shoot. A little bit. And like the pictures that she took like came out so perfect. And then what about the dinner after? Oh, that was, I was shocked. That what was. What did you think was gonna happen at first? I literally thought it was just gonna be like me, you and Elijah. And then, and then after we got engaged, and then I was like, oh, like our parents are gonna be there. Cause I just assumed like mm -hmm. that our parents would be there. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, they were there. Yeah, they, they didn't were. Didn't lie about that. No, yeah. And he was they like, they lie about my grandparents though. 
Yeah. You asked me directly. Oh, about yeah. I was that. like, did you invite your grandma? He was like, no, I just thought it would like keep it small. I walked in there, there was 24 people. I was like, I like walked in and I saw my friend Juan and I was like, and then I like saw Matthew and then I saw Marco and then I saw Yoli because they were like the first table right there. And then I like looked and I saw Alyssa and I saw David and I saw Yeshi and I saw Leilani. I was like, oh my God, all my friends are here. And then I saw Lorraine. I was like, what the f you were supposed to be on a flight. Why are you here? I didn't cry because I was so like shocked. Like I was like, I've never been engaged to or proposed to. So I like didn't know like, I think if you would have like, that ring looks good. He also didn't like say his speech, so I thought, I think if you would have said something, I could tell you were so nervous though. You were nervous. <laughs> I, I was. Like, I wasn't nervous. You, you were nervous. nervous. But I was like, I don't know, it was just like perfect because it was intimate, but like there was still documentation. It, it checked your checklist. Yeah. Like I, I wanted. It intimate. Elijah was there. Yeah. I wanted Elijah to be a part of it, obviously, because he's my son. <laughs> and there was camera. This baby is also part there of it. There was video and, and there was pictures. Because I know that some people, not that it matters, but some people probably think they're only gonna get married because they're pregnant. No, we talked about this before we were pregnant. No, yeah. I just told him I don't wanna birth a baby without a ring on my finger. No. And I said that. And that's not also why I did either, is because I wanted to do it, something we've been wanting to do. No, I know. And it's just the timing worked out. But I just personally did not wanna do that again. So I wanted to make sure. If I'm pushing your baby out, I have a ring on it. I love it. No, I love you. I love you too. Good morning. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot believe that I woke up a fiance. Oh my gosh. I am so, just so happy. And I hope that anybody watching this, if you're going through a hard time in your dating life, just know that it is possible to find your person. Even if you are going through the hardest thing of your life and you feel like you are never gonna find anybody or maybe you're in a situation with somebody who is stringing you along but isn't committing to you or maybe you're just trying to make it work with the father of your child and it's just not working I really hope that you can see my story and just know that it's possible to find your person. Alvin and I went to elementary school together. We literally were in the same class in second and third grade. We didn't talk after elementary school. Randomly I get a Facebook friend request from Calvin Gorson and I decided to add him and then he followed me on Instagram and we organically just started talking on Instagram and he asked me to go on a date and I said yes. And here we are, two and a half years later, engaged and pregnant with our baby. So I absolutely love our love story. I just never felt this way before. And I've never been treated this way before. And it just feels so right. You guys have seen me go through so much and talk about manifestation and manifesting a partner. And I did, and I'm just so happy and I, I'm so, so grateful for this and everything. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think. Were you guys surprised? Were you guys expecting this? I was not expecting this at all. I knew that it was coming because like we had gone to look at rings. I've showed you guys in vlogs. So I knew like he was going to ask me, but I didn't know when or how. So I was very surprised and that's just so special and I couldn't be more thankful for everything he did for me and also my best friend. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more. I can't wait to take you guys on this next journey. And I'll see you guys in my next video.